Here we are, YouTube. Uh, we're back with um, some Mondays with Murdoch. Um, just a few pointers real quick. I am live on Twitch, as you can see the chat. Um, just a heads up, though. So I'm not going to do two webcams. I thought that was a little weird. Um, we're back, finally. Uh, like I said, just a few pointers before we get started. Uh, one most important thing, this lady over here, Alex, Miss Juniper, um, she is pregnant, and she is very, very far along. So if we leave in a rush, just heads up. <laughs> it's because she's having a baby. All right? So just heads up on that. Um, another thing I want to talk about is I haven't uploaded to YouTube in a while. So, uh, you know, if you, miss, if you miss this on Twitch and you see it on Twitch, links in the chat or links in the the bottom the about me page hit up my youtube um watch it there if you want you can skip ahead um but other than that i want to have a good season this year i want to do things a little different a little more i guess professional professional like i should say um so ethan will eventually get a camera as well anyway welcome to the podcast mondays with murdoch i'm always going to be joined with alex and ethan most of the time, as long as something don't happen. Um, so, yeah, let's get into talking. Eric. Were you laughing at me, Alex? I was laughing at you. I said that, you said that if, something about if we get up in a rush, it means I'm having the, the baby. And I said, I'll just have it on stream. Hell no, nah, bro. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. I, I kind of like this camera better, Alex. I ain't gonna lie. It's wider. Oh, they can see my fucking trim that ain't done right there. Right there. <laughs> but, whoa, and it goes out of focus. Oh, hello. Um, oh, it'll be man. fun, though. It'll be fun. Hopefully this, hopefully this runs okay. <clears throat> so, um, Ethan's gonna try to play a video game while we talk. That way you guys get a little something for ethan but like i said eventually he's gonna have a camera and everything so we'll get that yeah. set up um we got a lot of a lot on our plate this year for mondays with murdoch um i ain't gonna do no newscast unless it's something big um yeah. like i said we could touch base a little bit on the whole world news like some of the world news and stuff um yeah but like i said uh Twitch, youtube guys if you have any suggestions feel free to comment them do not be afraid to comment what you guys want to talk about. Um, but here's some of the ideas we got this year. We got Hitler in Antarctica. That shit's going to be crazy. There's conspiracy theories. You guys know we're huge conspiracy theories. theorists. Um, we're going to do our cryptids this year. Uh, we ha I haven't picked one out yet. I don't know if these guys have. Obviously, you can see Alex is a whole bunch of cryptids in the back. You see Nessie up at the top. Mothman. Uh, fucking so Bigfoot. Uh, da Dahi the Nogla. Um, you know, you see all them cryptids in the background. <laughs> just, just a little bit of, just to give you an example. That's... <laughs> um, we're going to talk about aliens and why does the government hide it and shit. Bad movies, Marvel, we can talk, touch on that. Um, we do want to do our music underrated, overrated, like we did a couple fun. seasons ago. Um, but like I said, yeah. the three main things we're going to be doing is our cryptids, our, uh, video games every year and music overrated underrated every year um so let's get this thing to go off all right today we're going to be talking about a few things microsoft buying activision and call of duty being a bust and just some other little games um but first i gotta ask you guys your opinions on something um, like i said we're going to touch on world news just very little you like jazz oh sorry you like jazz <laughs> So, uh, my question with that, um, the whole situation with trading an arms dealer for a basketball player, I just want to know where everyone stands. Alex, I'll let you go first. She knew this was coming. It's the only time the WNBA has been in the news, so I, I guess. <laughs> you got a point. I guess it's an improvement. Oh. Uh, I don't think it was a fair trade. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not too like, fond of that trade either. That's like yeah. you, That's well, like I... you trading me a sal piece of celery for an Oreo, and I'm giving you the Oreo. Like, uh... yeah, that does. <laughs> yeah, I uh, when I saw that the other day, I was like, I hope this is a joke. <laughs> like. I I, I I get it. We need her back. Like I, I'm not saying like you know. Yeah, like not, yeah, yeah like, I'm not saying, I agree. Oh, no, leave her there. Let her uh, uh, no. uh, A guy that literally sells weapons to start war. Oh, that's. <laughs> yeah, let's give him back to the country. Yeah, that... just give him back. Give him back to the country. He's yeah, doing it for. Um, yeah. I, I it's just like I said, I just touch now, base a little bit on that. <laughs> if, just... if Russia, if Russia had somehow had Ed Snowden in custody. And traded him for the arms dealer. That would be a little bit more fair, but most Americans are okay with what Snowden did. So I don't know that. I don't know who that is. Uh, the no, NSA is guy. Either. The NSA guy that that brought it out that America that we're all being spied on by the government. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I remember. I mean, and, then he, and then he ran to Russia because. Yeah, he's the one that put out that little black book. Talk about that yeah, yeah. Gotcha. I remember that was a hacker down in Texas. Yeah, I think it was Texas. Uh, yeah, I think so. yeah, that's right. Yep. I knew that name sounded yep. familiar. Oh, yeah. I just want to touch base on that um, comment. You let me know what you guys think uh, on that subject. I know that's a American news. It's not really huge on, it's but I mean, still it world news. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's still like world news because you know the whole Russia Ukraine. I don't know. I don't even know if that's still going on. I just kind of I quit paying attention to news. And well, I don't know what the recent news is with it, but I remember the last time I saw the Ukrainians were winning, and I'm like, how does Russia lose? That is pretty bad. <laughs> how do you? Yeah. Lose? I think I think Ukraine's got a lot of outside support though. Well, I was gonna say. I mean, considering well, that. Well, okay. No one's with Russia on this situation, so. Like, he, I think even Russia's allies are kind of like, uh, they're kind of fed up yeah. with it at this point. Yeah, it's just not smart. It's just not yeah. smart. <laughs> I don't know why. It just, hey, whatever, you know? Everyone has their their leaders. Unfortunately, we, we have ours as well. <laughs> um, you said unfortunately there. <laughs> I'm not saying, you know... We have the worst leader, but he doesn't rank very high on my list. Right, right. Yeah. So, let's get into the real talk now. <laughs> um, we want to talk up. about a few games here. Uh, we got, like I said, Call of Duty on the list. Um, that'll be last. Um, we got Halo, Elden Ring, um, Dreamlight. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Dreamlight or not. And then, a little bit of God of War. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and touch on Dreamlight. Um, Thanks. It's always my stuff first. Yeah. Well, I figured it would be right. easier because it's it's gonna be short. So uh, tell us about the game. Like, what okay. is there like a story to it, or is like what it what? So the best way I can describe it is it's Animal Crossing meets a little bit of Minecraft, hmm. but. But with a story, like there's actual things for you to that they give you to do. Like Minecraft, you can kind of just do your own thing. Animal Crossing, there's things you can do that the characters give you. But this game, this Dreamlight, I think it ranks a little higher than Animal Crossing, and that's saying something coming from me. Yeah, because yeah, she did play the one. shit. I, was gonna say, I put the shit out of, out of Animal Crossing, but it's basically it's it's. The way it's like Animal Crossing, it's a resource finder game, which I guess Minecraft is too. But it has the storage aspect of Minecraft. Okay, okay. Actually, now, the only the only uh, opinion I can put out on the game is I, I watched Alex play it on. Now, she's got a 1660 graphics card. and <laughs> They're not fantastic, but not... The game looks absolutely amazing. It does. It runs very smooth on my 1660. Like, I have it for the Switch, too, and the, it, it lags on the Switch so bad. Well, that, and I noticed it also, it crashes a lot more on. I don't know if it, does it crash on your PC? Or? It it crashes on the PC, but I know, I know 
I know why it crashes. Like, there's only one certain instance where it crashes on the PC. So, and it's something I can avoid doing, so... so it ain't like Cyberpunk on release. Oh, just, dear God. Or just randomly. Yes, it's not random. I know... <laughs> like... I, I know that it's gonna crash when I do a certain thing. So, I just avoid doing that thing, and it's fine. Like, we're, we're, we're here talking about video games. Like, Cyberpunk is probably the worst startup to a game. Like, Call of Duty wow, bad. It's up there. It's up Cyberpunk there. had... I mean, well, it probably still does, but it had potential. Well, the fact... Okay, the way... The reason I say I, I consider it the worst is when people can't even load up the game. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty bad. And, and what makes it worse is the fact that they literally made... I don't like the game, but I know a lot of people love the game. They made The Witcher. Like, you go from that standard of gaming to what you put out... Right. Like, ooh, that's a little rough. But I know yeah. I understand why it was shitty because wasn't that didn't that game take like years to develop? It was like in development hell, as they like to it, call it. Yeah, yeah. It just like kept cycling through development. Yeah, yeah because I also know because uh, what was it? The the new gens and shit was coming out as well or uh, something like they, they yeah, had that. That probably had something to do with it. I'm but sure. but but still, like you just don't release a game if it ain't. Yeah. Ready. Like at the yeah. end of the day, you just like okay, I'm, we're gonna get to this later. But Call of Duty, like hello, but <laughs> again, we'll get to that one a little later. Um, <laughs> That's the best one. We gotta save so, it. So so Dreamlight's more or less uh, a better version of, of I, Animal Crossing. I or... I think it is, and there might be some nostalgic factor there because it's Disney. Like it's full of Disney characters, and that might have something to do with my opinion. I might be a little biased, because you know I love Disney, yeah, yeah, so... Yeah. Like I said, the yeah, only opinion awesome. I got, it, it it looked absolutely stunning. The graphics just looked amazing. Uh, it, it does look really good, I agree. Oh, that might be on Game Pass. I don't know. It is. That's how I have it. Oh, I'm getting that. I'm so it, getting that, because that sounds very interesting, and I'm, I'm kind of intrigued. I might have to download it now and try it. <clears throat> So I ain't gonna do any spoilers, um, but God of War. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and move on to God of War. Uh, I talked to uh, Silent Suicide. Um, what's his name now? Silent Nighthawk. I think. Uh, Silent Nighthawk. I talked to uh, Silent Nighthawk um, because you know he he played the game, he beat it, and everything. Um, he he rates it a, an eight out of ten. Um, oh, when I was watching this, him play, is this it, the new one? Yeah, uh, uh, Ragnarok. Okay. When I when I was watching him play, it looked hella fun. I mean, it it looked stunning. And, um, and he has first... a PS Five, I think. So I, I believe. Let me just. I believe. I ain't. I ain't gonna hold it to me. But I, I believe he has a PS Five. It just looked amazing. I think he does. I think you're right. I played. I played the uh, first one, and let me tell you, that game was a. Uh, it was an absolute trip. Now, like I said, his um his only. The reason he did like an eight out of ten is like if he failed like a few times or couldn't find something, the AI would hint, and I I can personally vouch for hinting because that um, that yeah, shit that gets annoying to me. Like yeah, it, it yeah. gets annoying. Yeah, it does. Like, it's like let me figure this out, damn it. <laughs> like I I like games that you know there is no hints. Like you you got to figure it out. If I'm failing a mission and it seems like it's over and over and I can't give me the option of getting to a look hint. at it. Yeah, Don't yeah, just yeah. give me a hint. Let me let me decide if I actually think I need one. Well, there is there is some people that uh are some games that do that. Um it, it'll ask there, you it'll like pop up and say uh do you want a hint? Uh, I think Uncharted Light. does that. I think Uncharted does that. They're like, "Oh, do you do you need a hint? Do you need help?" Dreamlight kind of does that. It's funny you bring that up. If you're on a quest and you're like, "I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing," you can go back to the character that gives you the quest, and they kind of can give you a hint about what you're supposed to be doing. So, like, I've been playing a lot of Fallout 76 lately. Uh, I know that's a little bit of an older game, but uh, well, I would love to know what the fuck i gotta do sometimes yeah yeah that's actually a game well, that is like well, i wish they'd give me a hint well one one problem with that game is there's so many like storylines now that it, it oh yeah, yeah. It's, easy to, it's easy to lose track in that game now but like, it is. I, I, i'm trying to get rid of this motherfucking gun in my inventory 
but I can't because I'm on a mission with it. And I have yeah. to figure out what I got to do in this mission. And all it tells me is, like, I got to talk to this person named, or this robot named Rose. And I'm like, okay, I talked to her, but she ain't telling me anything. Like, what do I got to do? Apparently, yeah. I got to do two other missions, and then it's, I, I, I'm figuring it out. But, you know, Google's your best friend sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, it's just, it was just irritating because I'm overweight all the time. I'm like, dude, just, just give me. I just want to get rid of it. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. I, that's my opinion on the game. Um, yeah, I, go ahead. I'm, I'm so hyped to play the new God of War. I haven't looked at anything for it except for the trailers, of course, but I'm, I, like I said, I watched Silent play it a little bit. I watched him beat it that one time. Um, I, I just think, uh, it just looked really good on his end. Um, yeah. But it just looked fun, too. I mean... Yeah, yeah. And the fact that they get Norse mythology oh, pretty yeah. spot on. It, it is, yeah. I love that. Like, like I'm loving Thor. all this all this Norse mythology. Like, yeah, all these games all of a sudden. I love, I love that Thor's kind of... He's not, like, buff or anything, isn't he? I think he's, like... He's well, like in, he was. in Norse mythology, Thor wasn't, he was big, but not big, not big muscular. He was yeah. like depressed Thor. Not, or, not yeah. Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> yeah. And I, I'm he, pretty, I'm pretty sure they got that accurate too. Like they, they made him is, a little, is, like have a beer belly because he drinks is, a lot. Yeah, he drinks a lot. And did they, what color hair did they give him in the game? I, I can't remember. I just know no, that remember. Loki was with, I know Loki's in there. Uh, That's, we're talking game. about God of War, right? Ragnarok, yes. yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, I ain't gonna spoil anything. I just know that, like, he got to fight some some of the wolves. They, in there. I'm like, I loved it. I just loved it. Yeah. They got his hair color right too. Oh, nice. Like he, yes, that's exactly what Thor. Oh, not exactly what Thor looks like, but that's like, ooh. that's the right hair color, the right build. So yeah, they it looks like they did a pretty good job actually. Ja, 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 ja. So <sighs> the next game I'm gonna touch a little bit of base on is uh I'm gonna talk about Halo Infinite. Mm. I I played a little bit of it. I enjoyed the game when it came out. I like that it was free. I did, I did I did like that it was free. That was um, nice. That was What well, the the story though wasn't, right? Like you had to buy No, no, you had to you had to pay for the story, yes, but Oh, that's right. That is and the one. The, that... the multiplayer was free. And I I yeah. did enjoy that, but there was no like updates. I mean, there was no like changing to the game or yeah. at all. So so what regarding that situation I heard, from what I've heard from my uh from David he told me that apparently they made a decision that they were going to make it a 10 year game so they were going to update it for the next 10 years and I'm Holy like you know shit. you know that's 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 cool and all but um you you should probably update the game more often <laughs> like Well this... okay I mean well, it, let's put it in retrospect here Rainbow Six was a ten-year game. They don't. I mean, their updates is slower, but like, but we stuff, got two different. Yeah, but see, we got two different games here. You know, one's uh, realistic. Okay, so I I sit here and I say, holy shit, to a ten-year update. But then you think, Minecraft's been out for how long now? I mean, yeah, they're well, still updating the shit out of that thing. Well, yeah, that's true. But I I think the issue is is. They, they just don't add anything like they're supposed to. Like, right. like, like yeah, all these other companies, they do it a little slower, but at the same time... They're at least adding things. They're adding stuff, and it's usually a lot of stuff. It's not just like... Oh, here's like a... Here's a new season. Well, That's all they've done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah, a David battle pass. Is, is, That's the stupid. But uh, yeah. to, to, go, to go back to Minecraft, you can do so much more in Minecraft, though. When you get on Halo Infinite, you're on like four maps. That's it. You play yeah. the game. That's it. If There's it, nothing if, else. Like if, two game if, modes. If yeah, if at, if all these updates, all these slow updates, they were including like, oh, here's another map and another another game mode. Okay, yeah, sure. 
Yeah, like like with with right. Rainbow Six and stuff, there's not much more you can add like Minecraft. But I mean, yeah. when you get when you get in there in Minecraft, you can do a whole bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, yeah they they've done a lot yeah. since base the, game Minecraft. Oh yeah, I, I, I re- say from the competitive standpoint, Halo was good. From competitive, I watched uh, the oh. Halo Championship and I, I loved it. I love watching Halo com- uh, comp. Um, it was so fun to watch, but that was it. I, yeah. I can't get into the game. I, I tried. I, I watched Halo. I, I watched Halo Championship so much. I went and played the game a little bit. And I'm like, yeah, no, fuck this. Yeah, it's it's a sad thing to see because the Halo games were such a such a treasure and fun game to play, and now they're just so kinda, apparently kind of though they did add Shoot House to it. Oh yeah, they did do that. Yep, I remember seeing that. Like, so like I wouldn't all... mind trying that, but like at the same yeah, time it's yeah. like it's, I don't know. It? It's just it's all still you've Halo. Added, you've you've added I mean, one like, new map since the game came out. Like come on. <laughs> I mean it's still like at the at the end of the day it's still Halo. There's probably not much more that's added to it. Um, yeah. I don't know. It just it's just different to me. I. <sighs> that was actually my first Halo game, so I, I ain't gonna form like a huge opinion on it. And that's the other thing is like I've played all the other Halos and I've had I never really played the multiplayer in them, but that's because I didn't have internet. But from what I could play, it was pretty pretty enjoyable multiplayer. So the next thing I want to talk about. Oh boy. Uh, I don't know this game very well, um, so we can like skim it just a bit however it is the game of the year elden ring now oh, i yeah, know I don't really there was have so much like so much shit to do in elden ring i i watched um aphrodisiac play it as my friend all of our friend obviously he's part of colossal um trey harper play this game and i watched him almost the entire time playing it it personally is not a game that I would probably like, but I loved watching it, and I am I am actually very happy that it got Game of the Year. Yeah, because to me, when you make a story based game, it if that's all you're bringing to the table is a story based game, motherfucker, I want to sit there for hours playing it. I want the yep. campaign to be long as hell. That's who I am. And they did that. I'm the and same way. That. I like I like I like like if I have to put five hundred hours into a campaign, so be it. I love it. Because yeah. I don't want to go spend sixty, seventy dollars on a video game and I I, I, I beat it in two days. Yeah, yeah, that's no fucking fun. If it's only story based. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, which which is another reason I like Dreamlight a little bit more than Animal Crossing because it's like I can get everything done on Animal Crossing in a week and just kind of like get on and just be like, oh well, what other visitor, what NPCs on my island now that I can do so? And that's not a guarantee, but Dreamlight I get on it every day and I'm like, good lord, there's so much to do. Like and, and like I'm gonna compare it to Dying Light too because that's more of a story based game than it is multiplayer. Yes, it is multiplayer, but I mean, that game, you could beat that game in two days easy. Yeah. Easily. Like, Borderlands. And Borderlands even has the replayability, like... Just go like, back through and play a different it's character. Like, it's like 550 hours, like, to get through it, and you get the option to do it three times on three different difficulty levels. And then they give you the difficulty levels in case you don't want to play a new character. But They do that, and then like I said, that's a game I could replay and replay and replay. And it, it's and just it's like a wild fun me, game. It's wild to me that I don't even think Dying Light 2 got nominated for anything. And that game, I just want to remind everybody that game came out February 4th, 2022. Fact check. Uh, yeah, think. yeah, yeah. We looked it up today. I, yeah, I, I think so. Well, either way, it's a 2022 game, and it's. Yeah. I don't see it anywhere. Dude. Uh-uh. Didn't get nominated for anything. Hmm. That game was so anticipated, and I tell you what the the major downfall of that game was. They said 
crossplay will be available. Yeah, yep, they they messed up with that. They said that you will be able to play with people on Xbox, PC, and PC, PS4. And when it came, like, a week before it came out, uh, oh, yeah, we don't have that. We can't do that. Have crossplay. Yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so that ruined it for me. I was so ready to play with Joe Marcus, man. I was yeah, so I ready. I, w- I was just so hyped to play with him. And then that came out. I'm like, really? Like, if I would have known this, <laughs> I probably would have. And then, and then, like, even even then, even then, it, I bought it on Epic because I thought Epic ran better than Steam, which on some games it does. Some games, yeah. And Jake bought it on Steam, and it was so hard to join each other. Like, we had to jump through hoops just to join each other. I'm like, dude, this is just... It was a buzz yeah, they, kill. They, they, the, the multiplayer optimization was not well done in that game. Right, right. Um, but yes, I I am very glad that Elden Ring got it. I think they definitely deserved it. Um, but I, I do want to mention something that Ethan talked about earlier before the podcast. It's pretty sad. The, the 2022 games this year sucked. Yep. Like, if, if we're going to put... Put it in a huge category. It sucked. Okay, yeah, we had a few good hits. We had Elden Ring, awesome. But the fact that God of War Ragnarok's in there and it's a Sony only game right now, that's that's just right. Kinda... <sighs> Oof. Yeah, we have a Sony exclusive game, which I can't I can't knock that because Last of Us is Sony exclusive and holy fuck, that game is amazing. However. <laughs> It it shouldn't be like third on the sh- list. Yeah, it, it shouldn't be. It could be in the categories, but it shouldn't be top three. Yeah, like you just said. But uh, it just actually, I think there's two of them right here. Horizon Forbidden West, isn't that? Yeah, that's that's also a PlayStation exclusive. That's sad. That's honestly sad. <laughs> I can't. Um, like I said, I don't, I don't have too much opinion on Elder Ring. I did want to touch it because it is game of the year. I'm proud they got it. Uh, I don't even know who they are. BNE Entertainment. They they did all the Dark Souls games. Like they've done all the Dark Souls. That's games. right. If you've ever played those, you know they're hard as shit. Obviously, Elden Ring's a, it's a hard game to master. It's not the hardest from what I've heard, but and regarding that game, I've heard like even when I online and i see people talk about elder ring they're like you know i don't like this kind of game but i respect it for what it did like it's, it's exactly an game it's just not my cup of tea <laughs> that's the way i was i was like i don't that's not a game that i would be playing but i i like watching it i, I enjoyed the content yeah. yeah um i do want to talk about this for a second though uh community support uh on the game awards Community support. So it was Final Fantasy, Destiny, Fortnite, Apex Legends. No. What? What? Wait. What? What is this for? Community support. Like, like, like. If like I have an game, issue, like the game with the best community support. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Oh. Uh, One of the most toxic, but uh, whatever. <laughs> Now, when they mean community, does that mean, like... Hello, David. Does that mean, yeah. like, us talking, like... Mean, uh, like, all of us talking? Like, hey, yeah, this, you know... Or is it, like... I think it's it's how they how the developers respond to... Oh, uh, okay. See, that's what well, I wanted to know. If we're because... going that way, they're one of the worst, because they... they I'm going to say, that, or... that's exactly what I was going to say. They just tend to all the pro players. That's it. Because they... whenever I had an issue with the game, I can't even remember what it was, but I, I contacted them about it. Like, oh, we need your ID and stuff. Where I'm like, shouldn't you know this shit? Like, <laughs> Honestly, out of that list, I really, as much as it pains me to say it, Fortnite. Fortnite probably has one of the best. Well, yeah, I mean, that, that's top, it's it, top three. It's third. It's it, third on the list. Yeah, it, it seems like... But if we're like going off of what the developers are saying, I, I don't know, man. That's just... Because for Apex, the the developers tend to... I'm sorry, I'm going to say this, and I don't I don't really care who disagrees with me. <laughs> they they go off the pro players. Yeah. They do. They do. They put the guns in the care package that... 
what they want because they're like, that, oh, this yeah. gun's broke. This gun's so OP. It's, it's OP. The pro players destroy people with it. It's like, okay, yeah, well, I'm not a pro player, so. And it's like, nice I know thing, I have y'all fooled, but. Like, self revive. Bro, brother, I'm telling you right now, if you. <sighs> if you can't kill someone using self revive, that fucking shit takes like 20 seconds to pop. They like, even come nerfed on. it. Yeah, they even nerfed it at one point. Like, if you can't kill someone within that little time frame, get off that's the fucking bad. game. You suck at it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's bad. Like, I, I can understand. Like, okay. I can understand to a point, but at the same time, they had it in the game since day one. My thing with yeah. that is, uh, the if I get sniped across the map and I have self-revive, that's not on me for having self revive. Yeah. You just sniped me. I should have a chance to get the fuck back up and shit on you from close range because I don't like sniping on that game. I mean, I like it, but I don't. If that makes any sense, like I, I watch a lot of the I watch a lot of the pro players, and I mean they're shooting from range. I watched yeah. uh, what what was the combination we was watching the other day, Alex? She guy had a Sentinel and a uh, Eva Eight. Oh shit! I don't remember who we were watching. But yeah, Sentinel, I mean, m most of the teams were running a Sentinel and even eight. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I will it's either, say. It's either far range or I'm up in your face. And I, yeah, that's, yeah. No in between. I, I don't know. I just, I, hey, whatever. I just happened to see that on the, the Game Awards here. <laughs> Role playing uh, game, we have uh, uh, Elden Ring won that as well. Although I don't know, to me, to me, I'll, I'll go against it for that. I, I don't really think it was an RPG game, but I, I know that's, that's, that's all opinion right there. Right, but to, right. But to me, I didn't think it was an RPG. I thought it was just a, I don't even know what I would consider it, but advent, it's definitely an adventure game. But was it kind of like a dungeon crawler, like? Uh, yeah, I guess you could kind of. I'm trying to think. Like I watched Afro play it a little bit too. Like when he would stream it. Yeah. So like I'm trying to. Work... Games are considered RPGs. But... And that's what I keep thinking that... of is freaking Dark Souls. And I and I think the reason why is because you can kind of just go to any area you want and stuff. But I mean, to me, that doesn't make it an RPG. Right. Right. Um, anticipated game. We have the Legends of Zelda: Tears of Kingdom. That won that. Which, I feel like there's a lot of nostalgic factor there. I, I would say that, too. I played the Breath of the Wild. It was Holy decent, fuck. But... Looking at the list here. Innovation and accessibility, narrative and action slash adventure, God of War, Ragnarok. All three. Damn. I'm not sure exactly what they mean by accessibility. Is that just like... I, I guess they made it very accessible to all kinds of people. Like if you had a if you were deaf or yeah, or have I'm, like a I'm not audio design, God of War. So they won a lot of awards, and that game just it there wasn't. When was that even released? November of 9th. Yeah, November. I say that was released in November. It was a recent. That is game. crazy to me. I love that. I love seeing games that come in at the end of the year. Just like you know what, we're gonna take all like, the awards. We're gonna take everything from you. <laughs> like it, it's game on, bro. Like watch this. All right, boys and girls, let's talk about Microsoft oh. <laughs> buying Activision. Before because why would why wouldn't they buy something else? What? Before I continue that, let me grab another beer. Who's gotta grab a I'm beer? Ask a, I'll ask a few questions about it here. Is what I'm gonna do. So Alex, start off with oh, you boy. again, because you're top left on my screen. Okay. Microsoft buying Activision. Don't say anything. Just good or bad. I do have to think about that. I don't know. Okay. 
Ethan, good or bad? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, it's kind of hard to. <laughs> it, it's like I'm kind of in the middle with it. Um, I'm in the middle it, with it, it too. It can be a good thing because, I mean, I'm thinking about Microsoft buying Minecraft and look how that's good exactly, that game is. That's exactly. That's exactly what that. I'm. Yes, uh, uh, that's exactly why I'm in the middle because I'm like they bought Minecraft and it. But they didn't at the fuck same it time, up. Time you're taking away competition. Right. Uh, right. Ooh. I'm gonna say bad. I'm, I'm gonna be the first one, probably maybe not the only one, but I'm gonna just say bad. I I will a one hundred percent agree. Okay, ninety five percent agree with the Minecraft. Mojang Mojang had it. Okay, they they, they know what they were doing, but they just yeah. they don't have the name. Yep, Microsoft. As soon as they bought them, it was like, oh my god, Microsoft. Like that. That's right. it. Like they pretty well Microsoft bought it, but they pretty well still let Mojang front it. They just said yeah. right, which is probably why they didn't mess it up. Yeah, I'm just pointing that out. The reason I say b bad is because first off, Monopoly. Yep. Right. They're gonna they're gonna push their weight around, and I don't. I'm not a big fan of bullies. Okay, like I'm just they're gonna they're gonna sit there. They're gonna be like, hey Sony, if you want Call of Duty for the next ten years. You know, they, yeah, they, they, they I know they, they throw them an offer and everything, but at the same time, what's up, uh, King? Um, at the same time, I know they just throw them an offer, but like that, when that offer goes away, like they can still push their weight around. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter. Um, I'm also going to say bad because Activision did have some like good games besides Call of Duty. Yeah. Like they weren't just, uh, like, Spyro is one of my favorite games of all time. Activision made that. Toys for Bob was a producer. Them guys do an awesome job. I am glad that uh, Toys for Bob did help on Call of Duty. I think that's one reason why it looks so good. I will be honest. Right. Um, um, Crash as well. Um, that's another one of my childhood games. I'd rather yeah. play Spyro all day long over Crash, right. but that's a different story. I don't know. I just, I feel like they can push your weight around too much, and I, I don't, I don't like that idea. Yeah, because I've always been a PlayStation guy, and I understand, you know, it might be a little bias coming from me, but I'm now a PC player, so I don't give a fuck. All right, I'm gonna be real. I don't give a fuck no more. But they can just push their weight and say, if you want to keep Call of Duty on your console, this is what you're gonna pay. If not. Adios. Yeah, they can easily be like, well, PlayStation, you're oh, we're gonna charge you thirty extra dollars to buy the game. Yeah, they no, could I think if that they would wanted be, to. I think that just you know, bullshit. I agree. And that's I think that's why, uh, they're trying like Sony's trying to make the deal not go through. Because technically, yeah. it's still I mean it's still like in the works and everything, lawyer paperwork, whatever. But I say, like, I, I kind of agree with Sony here. It's like, dude, you're yeah. literally taking, yeah, the majority of everything, and yeah. it's not, it's not right. And, I mean, who else have they bought? They bought someone else too, didn't they? Bethesda, I thought. Yeah, Bethesda. That's right. And, and, and I mean that. Which that, that didn't that really kinda, affect. <laughs> that doesn't affect multiplayer. That games, didn't really like, affect much anything, of anything. But... It does affect um, like RPG games, though, which is yeah. my favorite genre, so... I do know that uh, Sony, after all this went down, Sony did go buy uh, um, Destiny 2's Bungie. They went and bought Bungie. Yeah, they did. I remember that. Um, yeah. and I, like I said, I just don't... I don't agree with that. Like, I don't... I, I, I'll even say I think, it for... I, I think developers should be off-limits. Yes and no. I, Again, Mojang didn't know. have a name. Mojang, I mean, they were selling on Minecraft. Don't get me wrong. But Microsoft Which, made it. See, Microsoft made it um, my, Microsoft accessible. Microsoft boosted it. Accessible, though. They made it accessible. Yeah, they did. They did. They, they brought it to console. They said, here you go. You can have it for console now. You know, like, that was huge. Well, and, and they even were. They even did cross-play, like. 
She's in it. What's in the box? Which is oh, crazy. Yeah. Like, because I remember when they bought Mojang, a lot of people on PlayStation were like, are they going to get rid of Minecraft on the PlayStation? And they never did. Yeah. So. And, that, and that's what everyone keeps saying about Activision as well. I'm like, ah, I don't think they're going to do that. I don't think they would either. Why, why take it away from a console when you could now you're gonna make double the money? Especially when crossplay just came out. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it, exactly. So it's it's kind of pointless. Like, oh, we made crossplay a thing, but now we're gonna take take, take Sony's rights away. Uh, yeah, yeah. But again, they just made a billion dollars. Yeah. Call of Duty just made a billion dollars. Yeah. So there would be no reason to take There's it. There's no reason to take it from PlayStation. Yeah, I, I agree. Because it's like you're you're just lost a third of what makes your money. Like, yeah, and that's and a CEO, big chunk of money. The CEO straight up said that PlayStation has better exclusives. He he straight up said that. Yeah. yeah. And Which they do. I, I do. I do agree. But, but yeah, like, also... like what's the last good exclusive that you heard from Xbox? Uh. Forza is the only one I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and now, the, like literally the only one I know though. <laughs> yeah, and now look, now you got. Well, what does Sony have? Oh, they have Uncharted. They have God of War. They have The Last of Us. Well, they yeah. have Spider Man. They, just, they, they chuck Spider-Man, out Spider Man. Yeah, right? they did. They did bring out over now Spider Man. Thank you, thank you, yeah. Sony for yeah, that yeah. shit. That shit looks damn good on that thirty eighty, motherfucker. Let me tell you. <laughs> All right, I'm just saying. But uh, that's the other thing with. With them buying like Activision, it's just I don't know. You you, you make crossplay available, you make all this money, right? And then, and then you're like, oh, let's take away let's take away a portion of our profits. Yeah, yeah there's no way you would not. That. Yeah, Microsoft I, I, I obviously know. wants to make money, so. But <laughs> let let's look at let's look at the flip side here. What if they do? It would yeah. sink Sony. It would. Yeah. It, it would, yeah. It, it would it'd hurt like, them. Because it'd be like, oh, well, what what does Sony have that's multiplayer then? Nothing. Because Microsoft even has a deal with EA to have, like, for example, their Battlefield games on Game Pass as well, so. Yeah, it, it, I mean, Microsoft could do it just to kill Sony. And I mean, that could be in Sony's, you know, argument. Well, we don't know that. I mean, I. No one said what Sony's like arguing about. They're just saying it's a, a monopoly or whatever. Yeah, and it's could like, hurt well... the industry. <clears throat> um, the other thing with Sony, though, I think what also hurts them is their free games a month suck. It's either yeah. that or it's repetitive. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> I'll I'll tell you one thing. Uh, Game Pass doesn't have very good ones either, but. Not anymore, but but I see where you're coming from. Like, um, you're friends with um, Sean Hayes. He, uh, I think he had it on his Snapchat how uh, the game that he seen on, on PlayStation Plus or whatever was on in one year was on like four or five different times. There are definitely times on when we were playing on the PlayStation, like before we got into PC, that I'd be like, I feel like they just had this game free like two months ago. Or like, am I think, am I imagining things? There's twelve months PlayStation. There's twelve months, and if That's you're gonna repeat it, free games, yeah. Repeating again, like I get, I get if you want to redo it, like oh, we want to bring this game back out again for people who didn't get it the last. Well, time. yeah, like, yeah, like just make it a bonus. Don't don't make it the game of the month. Make it yeah. a bonus. Like oh, yeah. we also include this game too in case you want that. In case you for missed people it. that already have this game, that didn't miss it last time. Here's this game. Don't just yeah. be like, oh, this is the game of the month. The game that we had on here six months ago. <laughs> or, yeah, yeah. For half the year, this was our free game. Hey, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> and our final discussion. <laughs> oh, call, call of Poopy. Or Duty, sorry. Oh, I mispronounced that. Um... Let's just start off with campaign. Campaign. Alex, 
There might oh be my. a little spoiler, but I don't think you really care, do you? I really don't care now. I'm oh, going okay. to say best Call of Duty campaign, hands down. Yep, one of, one of my favorites. It's going to be All one right. of my favorites. I'll and have I, to try it. I've played Call of Duty Ghost campaign. I play, I played them all pretty much besides uh, World War Two. Uh, I might have. I don't know if I finished that one or not. That's but, the only uh, one. That's the only one I've never finished. That's because I didn't I like can't that remember. game. But... Yeah, I can't remember if I finished that one or not. There was like one or two that I didn't finish, but it didn't really go with the storyline anyway. All right. Yeah. Like the actual storyline. Um. Yeah, I can't. I mean, best fucking <laughs> campaign. I, I yep. there's no other words that, for that. That that ending. Oh my god, I got the chills when I. Saw I did the, too, dude. I, I were really... around there and they were talking like, "Oh yeah, this is a, the this person." I'm like, "Come on, just say who it is. Come on, we know who it is." <laughs> and, and when they sat there, when they, like when she like slid the paper over and said, "You know, we got a new guy in the m- bunch." And yeah, as and, soon as Price looked at her, she said, "What what what's that look for?" And, and he, he was said, like, "Oh yeah, he's yeah, been he around. ain't new. He ain't new." Hey, hey, so I'm around. like, "Oh shit, here we go." <laughs> we were like, I got I like I kind of already like had it figured out. I was like, "No yeah, way, yeah. motherfucker!" Well, like the whole game, I was just waiting. I'm like, "Oh yeah, we got we got this country involved. I already know who's involved. Like, come on, just say who it is." Say who it is. And spit it out. <laughs> and then they did at the end. And my my fucking hairs were standing up. I was like, "Come on!" <laughs> I oh, like this... I like the general um like betrayal to that. I, I read like the whole storyline of that. I loved it because like it, it really shows how like how patriotic Captain Price really is. Like he he was going to kill the fucking general, dude. Like that is that is a fucking you're a badass, dude. And not not only just to be patriotic, but just to protect everyone. Like he didn't want any countries getting involved to uh, start a war. So he's like, I'm just gonna go take care of business. And there was a discussion a while back, like, what's your favorite character, Price, Soap, or Ghost? And I'm like, bro, I'm I'm just gonna be that person to say Ghost. I'm sorry. Oh. Dude. Ghost, Ghost is my was, favorite. Ghost was a fucking badass in this game. A fucking menace, bro. A he, menace. He, he was just oh my god, he was just so fucking he didn't even have to try, he was just badass. But it he's was, like his dialogue well he was correct. Kill the motherfucker. Don't ask questions. Kill yeah, him. just kill him. Like <laughs> stop okay. wanting to capture the motherfucker. Kill him. And kill like him. that's just who I would be, like why are we going to capture we, him, ask him questions, are, kill the motherfucker? Why, why are we wasting our fucking time? Like, you don't want it to happen again? Well, how do you solve that? <laughs> kill, the kill the motherfucker. <laughs> like, <laughs> plain and simple, right? I mean, um, yes, by far, best campaign in Call of Duty. I'm glad that it uh, released a week earlier so I can actually get it done and then grind Call I mean, of I, Duty I, multiplayer. I didn't, I didn't get it done, but I got it done the other day. I did. I did, I did like that though. For Call of Duty yeah. to do that, I, I love. Yeah, that Call of was. Duty. You that do was that cool. every year. That I will awesome probably move. play the campaign. I will probably that, that finally cool, play. Yeah. That was a boss move on their end. We gotta. We gotta give them that. Um, it did hint towards Ghost Two. I'm just gonna. Oh. Spoiler. Oh, my, spoiler yeah, alert. That, like, that oh. mission. That the game's mission, been out for Chris, months now. Chris, that mission, like, when I was literally talking to Megan, I was like. Man, it'd be awesome if we got to see Ghost's face. And as soon as I said that, it was literally that mission where he rips his mask off and you see his face. I was like, holy fucking shit! <laughs> yeah, and I just love Captain Price just looking at him and say, Simon, nice to see you again. <laughs> I fucking love that shit, dude. Like I said, oh, my Ghost's God. my favorite character. That's just who I'm going to go with. Yep. Yep. Um, he's all, but yeah. He's uh, Alexa... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> she wants to play. <laughs> she just wants to feel included. Um, but yeah, uh, so we'll get, we'll we'll go with that campaign best ever. Yep. Um, let's go Stop ahead it. to uh, the co-op mode. Oh, I haven't uh, tried that Joey. yet either. Co-op mode, uh, it, it was it's all right. It's, it's I had not a blast. Like, 
I, I have a blast playing it, but compared to like the old modern warfares, like those co-op missions, those, same, were yeah. those were fucking awesome. Like, oh, your your guy has to be down on the floor, but your partner is up in the air with the fucking AC-130 blasting bitches yeah. for you. It's like, all right, this is cool. <laughs> Yeah, you always want to be that guy in the AC-130. Oh, yeah, of course. Come on, I'm like, oh, bro, let me in that motherfucker one time. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> but, but no, but no, uh, I had a blast only because I played with Ethan. And, yeah, and I'm pretty and, sure it's supposed to be a stealth mission. Yeah, but we we completely disregarded. Stealth. <laughs> we fucking did went right into him. I understand why. You know, I, I hate love... stealth missions. I love that they give you that option, though. It's like, oh, you want to go in Guns Blaze? I mean, uh, go for it, I guess. We prefer you to do it stealthy, but... That'd be harder, but... Eh, if you, if you want and to there I was, it. just blasting. Yeah, we were like, all right. <laughs> I hate That's... having to do things stealthy. I hate it. Well, I like I that it, it didn't fail. It didn't fail you in co-op mode. Right. I mean, campaign, yeah. it failed yeah. you. Which I understood in campaign. I did, I did. I understood yeah. the it's story But driven, a co-op, yeah. it was like, you know, you, you can do whatever you want. We're just going to add more enemies now. And I'll, I'll admit this with the campaign. That was probably one of my least favorite things. It's just how reliant on the stealth it was. I was like, ooh, I don't like that. Because if I mess up on accident, it's like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, but, but see, that that also gave me that, like, realistic feel. Like, Call of Duty's going for a realistic feel. And I, I like that. But... But then again, it's like I'll be behind a, one of the enemies and they'll see me, and it's like, uh, what? But, I mean, hey, realistically, you... <laughs> how's that guy? Yeah, but like, but I'm... again, you you played the sniper mission on Modern Warfare Two. I thought that motherfucker was way harder than on here. Yeah, like the original, yeah. the Gilly yeah, Suit yeah. one. Yeah, that Gilly Suit one was fucking wild, bro. Like that shit, that was bad. Um, I don't know if you played World of War campaign. Oh, well, fucking course I played the World at War campaign. All right, the sniper mission on that motherfucking game was hard as shit, dude. I think that was one hey. of the hardest missions I've ever had. Hey, but, but, but you know, it had, like that's your first time seeing Victor Reznov, and you just get to see how awesome he fucking is right off the bat, and too. I, I, did he, tell, I did tell somebody, um, that's probably my top three, actually. World at War is probably, I, I would oh, say, yeah, third it, best campaign ever. Yeah, World at War just, like, and... I kind of get where they were coming from from that mission too. Is kind of like a, a standpoint of oh we're we're fucking getting our asses handed to us right now. So uh, like we your city just got fucking bombed. Yeah, like... we kind of have to be stealthy about this because uh, we're surrounded by Germans right now. I think that's one of the only times in Call of Duty that I had to like lower the difficulty when the fucking what? like when you're sniping the dogs. You didn't finish that on veteran. Fuck no! <laughs> I mean, eventually I went back and did it, but like, it, as as when you, you had to shoot them eventually. fucking dogs coming <laughs> running at you, dude, that was shit was hard as fuck in the beginning. <laughs> I get I where you're like... coming from, though. That 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 mission is hard to do on veteran, but it is a, a shit ton of fun, in my opinion. But but all right, <clears throat> let's go to uh, what do we want to talk about? What what Alex? When you roll in your eyes, I know what's about to be said. No, I'm I'm gonna ask a question. I'm just gonna ask a question. We want to go to Warzone first or multiplayer? Like I'm uh, down for whatever. Warzone, Warzone, because that one just came out recently. So, fuck Warzone. Warzone. That's my opinion. I, I have fun dicking around on that game, but the sweaty yeah, people, I, the sweat, yeah. the sweats on that game are so ridiculous. In it. And the bot, dif bot difficulty? Like, why the fuck are they, like, doing 180s shooting you right away? Like, Drop damn. shotting and shit, <laughs> fucking bunny hopping. It's like, okay. No, they ain't doing all that shit, but, like, it feels like it, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, you're going against the bots. You're like, all right, these guys should be easy. No, hey, they're let me... fucking killing your armor, like, right away. You're like, okay. Let me say that. I'd rather have a bot drop shot me than aim bot, Okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. Yep, yep. Yeah. I'll give you that. Because the minute them motherfuckers, like, you got two or three bots on you, you're dead, dude. Like, yeah. who fucking guys are just melting you? But, okay, I wouldn't say you're, like, dead, but if... You're, you're, I, you're, I, uh, you're getting, you're getting fucking you're, shit on. Yeah. <laughs> and, and if a team rolls up, you're dead. Yeah, you're definitely dead then. Like, I don't know. That's just shit. The, the bots in that... Get that shit out the game, bro. Or at least make them dumb. Make yeah, them dumb, dumb them like, down a bit. It's it's all right to keep them like for the stronghold mission, but at least make it possible to do. 
Yeah. Either okay, I could I could go with that, and I will change my opinion here for a second. If you do want to make them a little harder, don't put as many in. Okay, fair enough. You know what I'll, I mean? I'll give, like, I'll give you that. Too. I, yeah, I'll yeah, go yeah, against yeah. ten fucking hard motherfuckers to get the stronghold, but then but once I get hardy. it, <laughs> once I get it, that's it. Like, don't don't be spawning them back in. Yeah. Like once I kill them, they're dead, bro. Like just leave me alone. <laughs> like I, I can get behind oh, that. Oh, another thing that pisses me off in the game: the fucking jailer. The the oh, jailer got me killed, killed so, so many times. Well, it's not even that. He just I've gotten killed from him so many times because I'll think it's the enemy and I'll start shooting him and then I'm like, oh shit, I'm getting shot from behind. That's the guy I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, so it's it's, it's kind of ridiculous. I, th I think it needs to be a little smaller to be like honestly. Yeah, that too. That or less obstacles because you can't like. If it's overtime, it should be overtime, sudden death, not the whole gulag closes out. Yeah. Because I've I, I've lost my gulag a couple times because I can't find the enemy, and the jailer's on my ass. Yeah. Like I think that's some bullshit. I, I don't I don't think at all should I have to be looking for my enemy the whole time. While running away from a fucking juggernaut because some little pussy wants to play like a rat. You know, yeah. like, I don't know. Yeah, and I I think they should have just kept the old, like, how the old map was. You know, you know, it was like just the showers. It was small, three, small yeah. three lane, and, and there was no, like, yeah. there were yeah, some head glitches, but it wasn't. I don't, I don't like how big the gulag yeah, map is. I, I, do, I do like that you can, like, if you kill an enemy in Warzone, it... Like the enemy kills you, you might go in with the guy you just killed. I think that's I know, funny I as that, shit. I yeah, that yeah, is yeah. funny as shit. That was like them being like, like um, and then all of and that was with the... that was basically Activision or whatever being like, well, here's another way to troll. Because yeah, like, you're fired, you're like, like, you can there, be like, oh, I'm just gonna die right away. Yeah, there was a there was a match where I killed the guy, and then we were on the team in the gulag, and oh he we God. were like talking shit back and forth. In Warzone and in Gulag, I'm like, all right, we're gonna be we're gonna be friends now, or am I gonna go out there and just die by the fucking Gulag people and, and point out to where you're at? Like, do you want me to do that, or are we actually gonna fight now? He's like, fuck, we're gonna get out here, we're gonna go back to our team, right? I'm like, all right, bro, let's do this. Right. Shit. <laughs> so we killed him, and I said, see you out on the battlefield, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like I did, that shit's funny as hell to me though. Like, that is funny. Oh, I yeah. agree. I think that the the two v two was a good was, decision. Was a great idea, and yeah. adding Blake was also a good idea. I yes. love that. Like you'll be running, all of a sudden you hear another team. You're like, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> and, and and again, I like I do like the jailer. I do like the jailer. But if it comes down to overtime, the, it shouldn't end like all of all four of us is dead. Like I I don't I just don't agree with that. Yeah. Because it's like I, I'm literally you're you you just put a jug in there with a fucking yeah. mini gun, like dude. yeah, it's like whose armor is practically impossible, and you give us pistols. <laughs> That's another yeah. thing I don't like. How it's just yeah. pistols and it's shotguns. It's just pistols. So like, yeah, I don't. I, don't I liked like it, it in either. the old one where it was like you get this random weapon. It could be a a saw rifle. An yeah, SMG. I, That's the other thing is the pistol. Like I don't like that you. I've only ever gotten a pistol, and I don't like that. I, I I can't agree to disagree. Like I like it because technically you're in prison. You got caught. Yeah. So true, I can true. I can. The only thing I wish they would do different is they have shotguns and pistols in the game, but you don't spawn with them. They spawn randomly in the gulag. I think yeah, that yeah, would be got, better. You have to find that them. would you be. Find them. Yeah, that would be. I don't. Rem you guys remember uh, the gunfight in Modern Warfare 19 that did that? Yeah, you had, you had to pick up the guns. I can't remember what it was called. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I vaguely remember that. That was awesome to me. I, I would enjoy that. I'm just because you're technically in prison, you know. I, I you know, start with a knife. I'd be alright with that too. Yeah, I'd be yeah. okay with a knife or a shoot. They could maybe use, maybe make it a two hit kill though, because that fucking knife's over overpowered. It, it it fucking murks. It, it oh my it god. It does. And then it's like you horrible. can't kill someone quick enough. Like they'll be charging at you, and before you know it, they're like, oh, a centimeter in front of your face. 
killing you. It's like, uh, I didn't have yeah, any chance. No. Um, so I, I don't know. I just don't like Warzone. Another reason the two shield thing, like I, I just I don't agree with that. The TTK is too much. Like it is way too quick. Yeah. I don't want to have to have two shield going against someone that has three. Yeah, I, I know Apex. Everyone's gonna argue Apex. Don't give me that bullshit. Yeah, but like, I think Apex. I think Apex has has it. They did it. I don't know. Just they're, they're, the their dynamic. TTK is not that. Their TTK is not yeah. that. Bad. Like, right. You can easily take on someone with purple armor if you have white you just got to be smart about it of yeah course. yeah you gotta be smart but it's like you got three verse two this guy has an rpk guess what you're dead dude yeah the rpk's not missing it's no recoil right now like i don't know i just i don't like that setup but you know to each your own you know some people like it i don't personally right i don't, I don't think that ruins the game though i just think what really ruins the game is the SBMM, obviously, and the fact that it it's so glitchy and laggy. It ain't finished. Oh, my God. And there's no stats. What? I ain't yeah, playing yes. the game for, like, I, I want to play for, you know, I want to know my stats to the game, bro. Well, like, you know. here's, here's my thing with the whole, the, the, the no stats. Okay, you want to you wanna cater to the pro players? Well, then give me my fucking stats so that I can see... Like, why the fuck am I getting teamed up with Scump or something, you know? Like, I don't oh, want to yeah. be in the lobby with that guy. What did I do to deserve this? Uh... <laughs> like, fuck. But... Either give me my stats and cater to the pro players, or quit catering to the pro players, and I'll live without my stats, I guess. Like, Yeah, I, I, I can agree to that. I... I just want them to do it like they did with Black Ops. You remember Black Ops stats? You know, you could see everything every yes. single thing you could see on each map where you died the most like yep, you could i look, love that that shit Very was so detailed. complex and they, you did they didn't need to do that they didn't need to but they did it anyway and it was so fucking awesome because it was like wow i can see my my uh accuracy with this gun and and who made that game Treyarch. 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 i said infinity i was like wait a minute <laughs> i didn't think here. about it <laughs> who made Blackout. Treyarch. Treyarch. I'm just saying, they made the idea. They put it out there. I liked Blackout. I don't care if people didn't. Oh, the TTK, Blackout. The TTK Blackout. was perfect in that game. Level 2 armor, level 3 armor. I expected that because that's what you it had on the ground. It was on the ground, loadouts, that's, that's it. What was in the game was in the game. Yeah, I didn't have to worry attached. about... I didn't have to worry about making a gun. I didn't have to worry about what was meta, all right? I, just, I can't. Yeah. I don't know. I, if they would add loadouts to the game, they should add loadouts to the game, but make it where it's... Sorry. Make it where it's... You get your gun, but all the attachments is out there somewhere. You gotta go get you, them. You have to load your gun up. Yeah. I just... I don't know. I don't like the loadout. I, I've never did. I, I just... I don't want to level a gun up that I don't like playing something. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know. So, <clears throat> I know we're a little bit past the hour here, but we got to talk about multiplayer now. Look. Ooh. I know people are going to say, like, this was the it's, greatest COD, or it's got the potential to be the greatest COD. It it's a love-hate relationship right now. No, nah, there is no love. <laughs> Bro, there ain't no love. This game... I don't know. I'm, I personally... I'm still enjoying the game. So that thing is where a little bit of the love is. But there's a lot to be desired. I, I like the game. Uh, I won't say I'll, I love it. You like the game. Uh, I'll just go to the... Like, okay. In between Modern Warfare 2019 and this Modern Warfare, what happened? What, why yeah. Did, why did we do what we did? 2019. 2019 was amazing. I, I don't remember. It was my favorite multiplayer. That but... was that. That was actually like a fun Call of Duty, and I didn't think I'd like it, and I ended up loving it. Gunfight, first of all, that's in the game. Yes, gunfight is gunfight one of the top one of the top game modes, and you yeah, don't I bring agree. it. I agree. 
gunfight was amazing. Where's the party game modes? Like, come on, people love this party game. It's like one in the chamber and shit. Oh like, my god, one that. in the chamber is so it much fun. It was infected. God damn, is it that hard oh to put infected god. in a yes, cod now? Infected. Granted, they won't be as good as Modern Warfare 3. I'm no. loving all this hate. I'm Modern loving this hate right now, bro. I love it. Modern Warfare 3 is infected. Oh my god, I had. Modern that, Warfare 3 is just my that, favorite Call of that Duty. That was the like. only game mode I ever played when that came out because I loved it so much. I, I just I almost, loved... got a, I almost got a nuke on that game mode. Go Call of Duty Ghost Infected wasn't bad. Oh either. my god, Call of Duty Ghost Infected. And, and then they did Listen, that and, they, and then they made it terrible. I was like, what the fuck did Listen, you guys do? <laughs> just a quick story, real quick. We got so many people nukes on Call of Duty <laughs> Ghost for just that. The plane infected. We, we would trap ourselves. Yep. Tack insertion, kill me. Tack insertion, kill me. Tack oh, insertion, yeah. kill me. Like, I'm just saying, I boosted the fuck out for my teammates. I didn't get one. I didn't really give a fuck. I was like, yeah, I can fucking kill me. I don't give a fuck, dude. It's cool. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't know. I just, I, the maps are ass. All of them. Every single one. Shoot house was all right. You fucked up the middle lane a little bit. Yeah, I fucked up the eyes. I, I, I'm but... not a big fan. Like, I like it because I can use it, but I'm not a big fan of the junkyard where it's head glitching right there, and you can see that. I don't like that. Um, I think I think the shit window's so me. hard to kill. The only reason I... I don't like the window though on this Call of Duty compared to Modern Warfare 19 is I can't shoot through the wall with every gun I have. Like, right. Like on, on 19, I could put on FMJ, shoot through the fucking wall, whatever, no problem. But like this one, I can't. There is no. Yeah. And, 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 like, that's another thing, is you have, like, a one-inch piece of wood, and you can't shoot through that. And it's like, uh, bro, um... Yeah, okay. In real life, like, yeah, come on. Yeah, in real life, you... Yeah. I, I, I just... I don't know, man. Like, I was having fun in the beginning of it, but it, I, at the same time, it's, like, border crossing, horrible map. Uh, I think... Now, see, I love border crossing. I love that map. <laughs> you didn't I play as much map. as us. Yeah, I mean, well, okay, like, yeah, start of it, you can get a quad feed, whatever. But, like, when all the cars is exp explode, the spawns on that map is horrendous. The spawns are bad on the map, I do agree, but I still like the map, like. Um, I don't like that map, I don't like the track map. I mean, I, li I don't mind playing on it, but I don't like the track map either. That one's not a great. I, I'll agree to that one. Um, the broken building ones, uh, Tarek or whatever it's called. I yeah. hate that motherfucker. Uh, okay, yeah, just, that's a bad one. <laughs> can we just call out COD for one thing? Why the fuck did they name these places after the real places? Um, <laughs> yeah, you can't. I mean, like, like, why would you do that, bro? Like, what? technically, border crossing should be okay because it's technically a public. Yeah. Yeah, but but like that museum map, I love that museum map, but they had to take it out because of copyright. And I was yeah. like, well, I actually kind of like that map, but I, I did, I did like yeah, that. Never too. mind. Um, the Breenberg Hotel, they were supposed to be taking that one out. Yeah, uh, maybe they came up with some kind of agreement there. I don't know. Uh, they could have. They could have. Oh, in the game, so. I don't like that map though. I'm gonna be honest. Like it's it's yeah, okay. It's, it's okay, yeah. but it's it's I got love hate with that Depend one. Depends on the game mode. Um, I don't know. I just I feel like every year we have this issue where spawns is the problem. Spawns crashing, are always the problem. Crashing is the problem. The game oh. like Call of Duty's been fourteen years. Fourteen years. Like like I just want to get on know. on my COD game and just see scan and repair on my uh my game when I load it up, you know. I, I'm gonna be like Nate shot here. You had you've been doing this for fourteen years. You have made a billion dollars on this game now obviously way over a billion dollars for people keep buying it and you can't fix it i look i'm gonna be honest youtube twitch right now i'm gonna tell you right now how i get scanner impair is in the middle of a game i don't think about it because you know it's a normal thing to do i go in and i i, I edit my class mid game it doesn't happen all the time but most of the time when i edit my class I either get a scanner repair or that motherfucker just freezes up and I lag every time. Like, yes, I understand. Maybe you shouldn't do that mid game, but like every yeah, other but Call of Duty it, brought why, it in. Like, if, if it why, gives you the option, then you yeah, should. Why, you, you should at least have it where it works. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the perk system today I noticed was fucked up. Okay, 
Like, it, it's working, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I can't tell. I can't tell if my perk was working or not. But I, I run... I, I don't run Ghost. Okay? I run um, Quick Fix. But every time today, it showed up that I was running Ghost or... Um, Hardline. Well, that's the middle one. Uh, it came oh, okay. up something something else. The bonus perk. Um, Bird's Eye. I don't Bird. use any of them. I use Quick Fix. Yeah. I don't know if it was working when it showed me Ghost or not because I would shoot somebody and the Quick Fix symbol wouldn't pop up. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, doesn't make sense to me. I'm going to talk about CDL a little bit. I think it's bullshit that when you go into a private match, you can't disable a fucking perk or, yeah, sorry, can't disable a fucking score streak. I think that's some bullshit, especially that in a game from previous that you were able to pick your score streaks and that was it. If you didn't want any, you could ban them. Like, where the fuck is that feature? Why Why is that feature not in the fucking game? When I, when I go play game battles, I want to be able to make sure they can't use certain things. I, I don't know. I just, it, it pisses me off to that end. Because it's like, that that feature in Private Match was in a different game that you already released. How hard is it to put it back in? It's It can't be that hard. Especially after you just made a billion dollars. Like, it all comes back down to you just made a billion dollars. And you yeah. can't support your community. It took so long for a patch for Warzone to stop the lag. It took so long for everything else to get fixed. But you released Warzone and DMZ, which sucks. Um, it sucks so bad we didn't even talk about it, by the way. Um, that you released two different game modes and not fix multiplayer. I just, I don't know. I haven't been happy with this game. I don't, I will not consider it the best Call of Duty. Like, I know that was in discussion. Like, oh, this could be the greatest. This could, could be. Could be is a huge word could right be. now. Yeah. If you don't do anything to fix your game, it will never be the greatest Call of Duty. Sorry. Right. It, you're right. There's two things that I already want would be gung-ho. Why the fuck can I not dive and shoot my gun or slide and shoot my gun? There should be no reason for that. Okay, I understand they want to make the game realistic, but I'm going to tell you right now, I might not be as accurate, but I can run outside right now with my fucking AR fully automatic, and I can dive, and I guarantee you I can still hold the trigger down. Yeah. Will, will I hit my target? Probably fucking not, <laughs> but who cares? I want to I want to have that option to be able to do that in the game. I want to play a video game. I don't want to play Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six is the most realistic game I've ever played. Hands down. Sorry. Like, first-person shooter, I should say. It's even more realistic than Battlefield. I'm going to be honest. Shooting through 15 walls, though, maybe not. But, you know, you're still playing a video game at the end of the day. Yeah. Oh. So there's my rant on Call of Duty. <laughs> Pretty well covered everything. I, I don't know. I just feel like you should be able to sprint, shoot your gun. Um, I can understand yeah. double time. I can understand double time, not sh like shooting your gun during double time sprint. I, I, I get that. But if you're going to limit the, the mobility of the game, at least let it slide and shoot. Yeah. Like, there's, there was nothing wrong with that. I don't know, Ethan. Why, why do you disagree with the multiplayer i know you've got a lot of uh points well first off uh sb mm that that shit's ridiculous like that is ridiculous if you if you go off one game your next like 10 matches are going to be complete dog ass because you're going to get sweaty players it's like, i had three matches i, I can't today. help i can't help that i went off like i can't help it i just went off it, it I... shouldn't be punishing me for going off <laughs> I had three matches today I went off on, and it was in a row. I was like, oh, my God. Like, did they take it out of the game? And then the next match. Yeah. I was like, never mind. Just kidding. 
fucking people and bunny hopping and shit. I swear, like sometimes this your gun will be killing people left and right, and then the next match, it's like it you're shooting someone you thirty times. Like yeah, I complained earlier about the Icarus because I literally hit someone like three times in the head and they didn't die, and I was like, um, you'd be dead, bud. You should be. <laughs> like, the, a lot of people don't understand this shit. Really does happen in Call of Duty because Black Ops Four, it happened. Remember on yeah. hardcore mode, I shot that dude in the head with a pistol yeah. point blank, and I had to turn He's around and shoot him again because yeah, he didn't die. Like, uh, it's uh, like, like it happens. That F Tac recon is actually the most recent gun in Modern Warfare Two that I got gold. That was so inconsistent. It was it was stupid. I I, I at one point I could two tap somebody, and then the next minute I had to four tap them. Okay, I'm sorry, but I should not have to four tap somebody with a semi automatic gun. Yeah. Because two taps enough. The minute you two tap somebody, if they're good like me and Ethan, Alex is actually pretty decent on this game. She might be able to do it. They're just gonna turn and shoot the fuck out of you, dude. Yeah. You're dead. Like I I don't know. I had uh, I had a trouble getting that one a little gold, but hey, whatever. I'm I'm not I'm gonna hate it getting platinum if it's long shots. I don't I don't know. It's um, not gonna be fun. There, there's another thing I didn't like. The this one in 2019. There the gold and platinum or diamond or whatever. Oh my god, they look so awful. Horrendous. Like, like what the hell? You could literally just do what you used to do, like Black Ops, Black Ops Two. They had great camo. Just even the basic ones were amazing, and there's some. Red Tiger still looks good. I love Red Tiger. Yeah, yeah, Red uh, Tiger. And I like, I like, uh, I like some of the, Yeah, I like some of the uh, solid colors, too. Those are nice. They're solid, yeah. But then they did a, a patch on them. They didn't need yeah, to. Uh, and it's like, why? I don't care about the. I don't care about the patch, like, skin work. Like, fix the game. Fix the mechanics. Yeah. yeah. But, and... uh... I don't know. That's just that's that's what really irritated me. It's fixing shit that didn't need to be fixed. Yeah, they're like, you're you're supposed to be providing us fan service, but you're providing us with uh, streamer service because you're catering to the streamers yet again. And I, I usually I'll I'll end it with this. Um, the fact that I won't recommend buying this game. That's how bad it is. Right now, yeah. Because if they were, if they were to improve it, yeah. Because yeah, because whenever I played the beta, I told I told my friend David and his brother, like, yeah, guys, you should get this game. Dude, whenever, the beta was dope. Whenever you can, because it was like this game's gonna be so fun. Like, you guys should get it so we can all play it. And then, and then I just told him the other day, like, uh, I would wait, <laughs> wait till it goes on sale at least. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will say, uh, I will, I will tell people to buy it only because I want them to be a part of Colossal and like do our tournaments. I want to host another tournament. So heads up everybody. I am thinking about hosting another tournament. Um, so I'm going to end it with this. All right. This is what we're going to end it on. I'm going to talk about the, the potential tournament I have up. I want you two's opinion on this real quick. Um, Cause I'm sure you two probably might partake in it again. It's for fun. It's free. It's entertainment. Obviously, there's always going to be a prize at the end of this. Uh, you guys know me. I give out the prizes. Um, so, I'm thinking of doing a best of three, maybe no loser bracket. But make it an all-out fucking brawl. Okay? The only two things I'm going to say is not allowed is LMGs and rockets. The rest of them go fucking haywire. I don't give a fuck what you use. Okay? okay. And I'm thinking it's going to be like a free-for-all and a search. So it's going to be like search and destroy, free for all search. Because we don't want to end. If you make it to game three, motherfucker, I want to see some search. All right. I want to yeah. see I want to see some clutches. You know, I want to see some, some dirty shit. I don't care. But the only reason I don't want rocket launchers, those are boring. I don't want to see. Not, I might say. Right. Use a joker oh. if you want. All right. I don't care. No, you yeah, want to yeah, use a joker? Yeah. Go ahead. That shit sucks. But, like, I don't want to see no one using a Rao L LMG. In, yeah. In the, the only reason... That shit is so broken right now. It's a two-tap almost anywhere. Like, I don't want to see that. And, I don't want to see that. And 
There, there's another thing that that's wrong with the game. Like, okay, I put on a what, what's the blast protector or whatever. Oh much yeah, what yeah, a bomb I, squad. Bomb squad. I'll get shot with an RPG and I'll die. And it's like, yeah, unless have... it's direct impact and it tells me I got direct impacted. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like if I get direct impact, but if I'm getting shot at like next to me, uh, why am I dead? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and flashes are OP. Um, but yeah, yeah I, th- I think I think I'm just gonna do an all out brawl. Say fuck it, you know what? Search and destroy, free for all search. Probably just all shipment because I think the other other maps are just too big. Even shoot house for a one v one, that shit's way too big. Shoot house so. is yeah. big for a one v one. I agree. I feel like you just be running around searching for each other the whole match. So yeah, I, I feel like off of each other. Yeah, like I said, no rules. Just fucking, you know. Wow, I don't want to say no rules. Just no rockets, no LMGs. Use whatever else you want. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking so far. I don't know. Comments, concerns, you let me know. But I think we're well, going to end her there. I think that was a good, uh, Mondays with Murdoch. Hell yeah. Um, for stream purposes, uh, remember every Monday at nine, we will be live doing something. Um, hopefully next week, Ethan's got his camera hooked up. We can see his pretty little face and his full full beard oh yeah um make sure you guys go follow their channels juniper and the goy boy i linked the goy boy alex ain't live so um but yeah maybe next week maybe next week again just a quick announcement i already did this in the beginning of the announcement so if you guys stayed this long thank you so much uh for the youtube support because this will obviously be a youtube comment um, if it just suddenly ends, Alex is going to the hospital. All right, it's just <laughs> plain and simple. If if it ends just randomly, and I don't say a fucking word, it's because we I'm taking her ass to the hospital. We're having a and kid. Then, all right, and then I'm your entertainment for the for the day. The remainder <laughs> of the yeah, and Ethan will obviously be live with Mondays with Murdoch. Um, so yeah, make sure you check his channel out as well. But yep, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, we'll see you next Monday at 9. I'm probably going to end this, maybe stream a little bit more Call of Duty and get an aneurysm. But I'll peace out and see y'all later, stream.